Now let's say that I want to fill in her stomach and back, and I want to use text that's about the same size so that all of her skin tones match. So I've made two layers, Jazz and Art. I have already put them into the skin folder to keep them all organized. But I want to distort them, and I want to fit them into this more almost like triangular shape. So I go to Edit, Transform, and then Distort. This is a great one. The reason Distort is so useful, let me zoom in here. I'm going to use my Control Plus button. Whoops. And space bar, click and drag this over. It'll distort allows me to click and drag the corners independently of each other. This is a great tool. Um, this allows you to basically rough fit your text in very, very easily. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go down to Art. And same thing. Edit, Transform, Distort grab the corners. By the way, I do want to keep a little bit of spacing here between my letters so they separate from each other. And remember, a little bit of bigger is a little bit better than a little bit smaller. Because when we use the liquify later on, things will just fit better. Okay, so that's good. I go into filter, liquify again. Remember that what I want to do sorry I played around with that, is I want to switch show backdrop, I want to use from all layers to background, sorry I messed up there, I had the mode set in front, I wanted to go back to behind, control plus in, okay so I've got my brush size, so I will move things around a little bit, so that everything fits in, no overlaps, that looks good, hit OK, go to Jazz, Filter, Liquify, go from all layers to background, Control plus to zoom in. You might as well zoom in. People don't want to zoom in. If you don't zoom in, you really can't get your details right. Okay? So, I like large brushes, by the way. They give me a nice even push without stretching the text around too much. So, for instance, there, pushing that Z and go smaller so I can pull that section out and we are good to go. Wabam! Everything's fit.